Welcome back to Super Geeked, where we celebrate everything we get super geeked about. If you're new here, hi, I'm Victoria. I am a full-time fashion reseller and sometimes hard goods on websites like Poshmark, eBay, Etsy, and Mercari. In today's video, I'm going to take you on a little trip to the Mobile, Alabama Goodwill Outlet, aka The Bins. I went last week with two of my girlfriends again. The bins have been popping. Let me tell you, they are rolling out new bins every 15 minutes. It is crazy. We barely have enough time to go through the bins that are already out by the time they're rolling new bins in. So there are three levels of resellers in our group. First, there's the super, super picky. That's my friend Alexis. Then there's me who's semi-picky about what I pick up, but I pick up a larger range of items, including vintage and hard goods. And then there's my friend Alicia, who is one of those resellers that scoop everything because of the low price at the Goodwill outlet. So if you've never been to a Goodwill outlet, they are the bargain stores for Goodwill. They roll out all the inventory in these big blue bins and you rummage and dig for treasures. And then when you pay for it, it's not a per item price. It is actually weighed and you pay per pound. So our bins are $1.49 a pound. Anyway, this day, even though we have Alexis who never picks up anything when we're at the bins, me who usually only has a small haul and then Alicia who normally has a lot, this day, we all had a buggy full. It was crazy. So to see Alexis fill a buggy up, and then for me to fill a buggy up, and then actually I spent the most, I spent more than Alicia, who always fills up her buggy. So now I'm going to show you the footage from the day. So you can see us shopping together, thrift with us, uh, check out our crazy antics. And then at the end, I'm going to show you a haul. I'm putting that on YouTube. Okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> hey, everybody. Guess what? We're back at the bins. Okay. And uh, Alicia, you going to fill that buggy up? Y'all, I'm going to be strict again. I'm only going to get like 50 things. Yeah, right. <laughs> I bet she gets two buggies today. We're I also so. we're also meeting up with our friend Alexis, who lives here in Mobile. Mm -hmm. So we're going to get to see her. Yep. And uh, yeah, so we're going to take you guys with us. Alicia, I'm sure, is going to have a video or two. Yeah, I'm going to do like a day in the life of a reseller, I think. Ooh, that's fun. That should be fun. Yeah, mine will just be goofy shit. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching. Woo! Here we go. Y'all, it's finally cold in the south. What the heck? Poor ja Jasmine. Jasmine's there? freezing. I, I'm not used to this. <laughs> Look, I wore boots too. I never wear boots. We're going in. how I have more stuff in my basket than you. That's weird. It's shocking. I really am being picky. Or you're not being picky. I'm not being picky. You're not being picky is what it is. What'd you get? Bugs? Oh, Alexis yeah. gave me those. <laughs> she likes me. Well, you were right beside me. Yeah. <laughs> and you asked. So. Oh, so I, I wasn't first choice. <laughs> you hear that? I'm going to cry. Today, Thanks a lot, Alexis. You're like... Yeah, I would have given it anybody. 
to say, Alicia? Y'all gonna make me lose my mind. How about the hands? So Alexis, that's so <laughs> <laughs> and it's even got a spot for a necklace, like you can put a string on it. You'd too. wear that? Oh, a purse. Oh. I don't know. That's crazy. <laughs> you could use the belly dancer we'll hear it we see it. with huh? that suit you got. Oh, you want to see my morph suit? I don't understand what it is. You guys have to comment down below and let us know if uh, you've heard of these before. You can look it up right here, more suit. But yeah, you just perform. Brandon wanted one. That's how I know about these. It's just weird. Of course, you... of course my husband would want the <laughs> body suit. I don't know. Did you say anything? No. No, she. I didn't say nothing. I just didn't Keep know digging. I'll film. I just didn't know what you were doing. Alexis, you're the professional. Any tips? Be fast. <laughs> run. Yeah, run. 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 It's sorting time. <laughs> Alicia, you winding down your cart? From a big buggy down to this, yeah. Alexis, let's see what you got. <laughs> you're doing good. You hardly ever get anything with us. Now you're like piling it on. Yeah. I know, I gotta go through all that. Hey, do you want the tie-dye? I'm not going to get it. I was thinking about Bernie, but I Finished up at. I can't see you, Alexis. You want to get in? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a creeper. Uh, we just finished up inside and we're heading to go eat. But what did you guys think about today's trip? Great trip. It was Great. a good trip. I so, so, yeah, Jasmine bought something, which is a record. I don't know. Jasmine, is this your first first purchase ever from the bins? Uh, no. Okay. Like my, maybe second, third purchase. <laughs> Only <laughs> like eighth trip. But like third person. Yes. And Alexis, Alexis never buys anything and she bought stuff. Yeah, because yeah. she looks busy. There's usually nothing in well, there. Well, someone <laughs> found, uh, not new with box, but pre-owned Louboutins. Yeah, what the heck? The I'm so time. jealous. I've never been like jealous of somebody. I told her. I was like, I'm jealous of you. And she found a Louboutin scarf too. What? Yeah, there was a scarf. Well, Meanwhile, I'm finding Columbia. Got, the same place That's you what? got your scarf. It was on that bin. But she got it oh, I got a Christian Dior scarf. And so. I skipped that one. When those when those bins came out, I was like, y'all, yeah, I'm going to check glass. my stuff. No yeah, one. You yeah, it. Fendi glass. <laughs> that was the one I should have went to. Yeah. It's okay. But I, I said I knew it was a good day because I spent more than Alicia. And that never happens with the bins. Ever. Mm -mm. So, anyway, we're headed to eat. So, I'm shutting this That's crap off. That's part of the day. <laughs> <laughs>
what she's listening to because it looks like she's listening to rap from like just her motions of like her hands. She's doing a lot of this. Is she gonna stop as soon as you record? Oh. No, she's still going. <laughs> Is that a woman or like somebody with big glasses? I see glasses. I can't tell anything else. Yeah. Two. One, two, one, two, one, two. This is good. <laughs> it's the life of a YouTuber. <laughs> you came by and you said that was the life of a YouTuber, and then you walked right in front of my camera and you flipped your hair and you kept walking. <laughs> it kind of made for a good video. <laughs> Eyelashes what? Are these? It looks like a bone eyelashes. I took my fake eyelashes off. <laughs> Is that how they get the, how did that get in there? Because I was looking in a bin with these um tattoo remover things and they fell everywhere on the floor and I guess apparently in our buggy. <laughs> All right, I hope you enjoyed that footage. We can be a little crazy when we are at the bins. We have the best time together and now I'm going to get into a haul and show you fairly quickly because there's a lot, what I picked up to resell and to keep for myself. The first items are a set and they are these vintage plastic glasses. There were some mugs, there were some small cups, and even two little bowls like this. I just love these colors. A lot of my mid-century modern stuff is in this turquoise. The brand of these are called Vacron. They were made by Bob Decker Plastics in Birmingham, Michigan. I am going to do a little research. I don't collect this um, style. There are some of these vintage plastics that I collect. I am going to list these for sale. So I do plan on reselling them as a lot with all the pieces that I was able to pick up from the bins, but they're really lightweight. So I thought they were really fun and I'm really trying to get back into reselling mid-century modern. So definitely grab these guys. The next hard good item I got was this Hummel plate. It's called Little Companions and it was put out by Danbury Mint. It is numbered and it was limited edition, only fired for 14 days according to the Danbury Mint. This plate did come out in 1992 and I am giving this to my grandmother for Christmas. She collects Hummels. Most of her Hummels are pre-World War II because my great uncle was stationed overseas and he bought so many Hummels from Germany for my grandmother and my great aunt. So she has a very, very large collection of Hummels, especially the pre-World War II Hummels. But anyway, she loves their little faces. So I got this for her for Christmas. As we were trying to escape the bins, but they kept rolling out more and more bins out, uh, we kept running back over and Alicia did find this rug for me. <laughs> It has little lambs on it. It is so stinking cute. I do not know what I'm gonna do with this rug yet, but I am definitely keeping this rug for myself. It is very much my aesthetic, really kitschy, and yeah, I'm keeping this bad boy. Uh, next up, uh, uh, Alexis actually passed these to me. These are just a pair of Uggs. They're in pretty decent condition. Uh, these are a girl size three. Uh, they're in great condition, really. I won't have to do much to the suede. And thank you, Alexis, for passing these on for me to resell. Alexis and I also headed back over to a couple of the bins when Alicia was sorting through her cart and we found a bag full of sunglasses. Alexis kept the Fendi frames, but I did get these. These are actually Ray-Ban. These are just a cute little pair of like fast fashion sunglasses by a brand called Humps. And then these frames are actually Lily Pulitzer. We also in the same bin found this beautiful vintage handbag. It does have real stones on it. One of the stones did fall out, but luckily enough, the stone is in the interior and it feels as if this is silk. There's no brand name on it, but the stone is there. So I am going to try to repair this, but it is such a cute little bag. I totally picked on Alicia because when they rolled out a couple of the hard good bins, she was like, oh, there's some more junk. <laughs> and I found this super cool Pyrex bowl. I actually own the four bowls of this set but it's always good to have an extra. So I did pick 
this little Pyrex guy up and I will be keeping this for myself. I have a rather large collection of Pyrex, which one day I will show you in my Mid-Century Modern series. Can't wait to do that when I do bakeware. Okay, this next item is a kimono. It is silk. It's got this beautiful embroidery with uh, this floral and a bird. It is by Notori, which I've actually sold Notori before. And it, so far, I did not see any pulls or tears or anything, but it is about a knee length robe. And so I will be reselling this. This is a cute gingham, just shirt dress, knee length with a collar, and it is J. Crew Factory, but super cute style. So I grabbed her. I've never sold this brand, but I knew it was Stitch Fix. This is Market and Spruce. It is this Terry tank top. It's asymmetrical and I know that there are some Facebook groups where you can sell your Stitch Fix stuff. I have sold some Stitch Fix brands on Poshmark and they've done pretty decent. So I'm going to try that out. Didn't weigh a whole lot. And since I'm paying by the pound, this is a good time to experiment. This is a brand that I never pick up. It's a New York and company, but I had to grab this because it had a raccoon on it. We actually have a raccoon that eats on our back porch with our cats that are outside and his nickname is Rocket. He lives in the trees behind our house. So <laughs> kind of looks like my friend Rocket there. Another brand. This is another brand that I don't ever pick up. It's J. Jill, but this was a cute little crocheted three quarter length little cardigan with this pretty cotton detail. It looks very cottage core to me. And I just thought it was really cute. There's a little dirt spot right here, but I'm pretty sure I can get that out. But a really cute sweater. So we'll see how she does. All right, next up is a plus size vintage piece. It is by the brand Kelly K. And it is this geometrical with a large, it's not really Peter Pan collar because it's pointed, but that sort of style collar with little elastic bubble sleeves. It is midi length. It is sheer, but I am going to actually keep this for myself. I'm gonna be doing some vintage and some vintage inspired plus size styling videos in the new year. And so I'm gonna use this dress as one of my photos that I'm gonna take for you guys. Another vintage dress. I just love this color. It's by NPC Fashions in Warren, Pennsylvania and it is a polyester dress, knee length, sleeveless, and I love this mint color, and it does have a matching little jacket. My great-grandmother lived in outfits like this when I was a little girl, so um, very 70s or even into the early 80s, women would wear two-piece matching outfits like this. <laughs> I was very excited to find it because it does remind me of my great grandmother. All right, another hard good item is this Ray Dunn mug. It says best teacher ever. Uh, I don't <laughs> I don't sell Ray Dunn or buy Ray Dunn, but this was at the bins. I know a lot of people like Ray Dunn, so I'm gonna actually use this as a teacher gift for one of my kids' teachers. Okay, next up are these olive chino pants. They're cropped with this little cuff on the bottom and they are by Loft and they have the welt pockets on the back. And I just grabbed those because I like olive pants. I pick up a lot of olive pants. I don't know. It's kind of weird. But um, also, I might send it into thread up too. Here is another loft top. This one's really cute. It's floral with this ruche sleeve. These are brands that I would I would never pick up loft in the thrift store but I will pick it up if it's cute at the bins and list it for sale. And if it doesn't sell, I'll send it thread up. And so here's another loft top, another cute one, which is floral, but it has the ruffled collar and the ruffled sleeves. And again, I will try to sell that on Poshmark and eBay and Mercari. And if it doesn't sell, I'm not gonna feel so bad about it. <laughs> I, did, um, I did pick up a rug for myself, which is like a haul runner, but I am not gonna show that because it's so big. 
and I need to pressure wash it. So it is actually still out in my car. The last thing I picked up, the last bit of bins that rolled out were these Birkenstocks. They are a men's size 46. They're in decent condition. There's a little bit issues with the cork right here and I'll have to clean up the suede, but I have gotten Birkenstocks in way worse condition than these two and uh, sold them for 50 bucks. So I always pick up Birkenstocks unless they're completely falling apart. A girl that I love and you see in a lot of my haul videos is Eliza J. And this is a cobalt blue mini dress. It's sort of got that Grecian feel to it. The draping in the front's really pretty. So I was happy to find my Elijah J. Alexis uh, handed over these. She didn't want to pick them up because like I said, she's super picky, but they are cloth and stone. They're an olive colored tinsel pant. They're cropped with the tab roll. And then they have this really pretty crocheted detail on the side. There was a couple of light stains, but I am going to wash those and they should come out just fine. These shoes look so tiny to me because I have huge feet but they are vintage and so I had to grab them. The first ones are called Mademoiselle the Fashion Shoe. They have this beautiful floral embroidery on the front and they are fabric. They have do have leather bottoms and they're in decent condition. I do need to kind of clean these up because they are a little dirty, but for vintage shoes, I was like, yes. Yes, there was actually a few pair of vintage shoes. And then I also found these. Oh, they're so cute. These are called the Sears Feather Light. And they are so little, but they are so beautiful. So I'm going to clean these up very nicely and going to put them up for sale. I mean, they are so pretty that I could not leave them at the bins. Next up is a pack of socks and they are new. They still have the little hook on them and they are Tommy Hilfiger. So I'm going to wash these and leave the hook on and I'm actually going to give these for a Christmas gift. My youngest son is obsessed with stuffed animals, but especially elephants and sea turtles. And so I found this little sea turtle. Look at those sweet eyes. Almost reminds me of the child, a.k.a. Baby Yoda, a.k.a. Grogu, but so cute. So this is getting washed and given to my son for Christmas. It is in excellent condition and he is from SeaWorld. I can't remember this guy's name, but he is from Toy Story and he has a little uh, buddy who's a bird and they're at the carnival and they cause a bunch of ruckus. I'm sure somebody in the comments will remind me what his name is. But anyway, I got my kids some Toy Story toys. So I'm going to clean him up and he's going to be another stuffy that my youngest son will get for Christmas. Another pass off from Alexis. Uh, this is Jay McLaughlin. That's why I love thrifting with my friends, because if I find something that Alicia might like to sell, I pass it off to her and vice versa. Alexis will pass stuff to us, but this is a cute little shirt dress. It is in this uh, periwinkle blue color. It's got a button sleeve and a rounded hem. Really cute. Another dress that I may end up sending to thread up is this pretty purple dress. It is by Loft, but I really liked the purple floral. It looks vintage inspired to me. And so I think it would fit the aesthetic of my Poshmark closet and my eBay store. And so I'm going to try to sell it. And if it doesn't sell, I can always send a thread up. Here is another cool vintage piece. And I love the pattern on this. Look at that with the trees and the flowers. Super cool. And it's just a sleeveless dress with an elastic waistband. It does not have a brand in it. It may be homemade, but a fun vintage dress for me to put on eBay and Etsy. Another vintage piece, love vintage, is a men's piece. This is actually a vintage cowboy shirt. The brand is Shepler's. It is long sleeve and has the pearl snap buttons. These were really popular in around 2000, 2001. All the guys I know were wearing the old Western shirts. So fun to see that they're making a comeback. All right, I got another dress. This is a pretty canary yellow skater skirt, mini dress. It has a cut out back 
and it is Lulu's and it is new with tags. These cute little guys are going to go in great with my Christmas decor. I already have reindeer salt and pepper shakers, Santa Claus salt and pepper shakers, and now I'm complete with little snowmen. Alexis found this cute little headband in her sunglasses and it is satin and I'm just going to keep this for myself. I got one pair of jeans this day at the bins and they are American Eagle, the super stretch, and they are high rise in this dark blue wash in excellent condition. So can't go wrong with American Eagle, especially from the bins. These are just a pair of Mickey Mouse sunglasses for my kiddos. This pretty little scarf is tennis. It has tennis rackets and tennis balls. And it is actually a Christian Dior. All right, and last item from this day at the bins. I was really excited about this. Alexis actually found this at the bins before we got there. She lives in Mobile, so she tends to get to the bins before we even get into town. And it is by the brand 100 stars. It is new with tags. She looked it up and I believe she said it retails for $100, but it is got a print of the maps of Paris all over it. And just beautiful. I'm definitely gonna need to steam it, but such a pretty robe. It's got pale pink, blue, and like a sage green. It is just beautiful. So, I was very grateful that Alexis didn't want it and handed it to me. So this day at the bins, I spent $57. So we'll put up on the screen how much that is per item so that you can kind of get an idea of how much I'm paying per item at the bins. And then we did get, go to the Goodwill store and I spent $38.05 at the Goodwill store and got a few items that I'm gonna share with you. First items, these Dusty Rose Pistola jeans in a size 31. I really like the brand Pistola. I do really well selling them. These have a zipper ankle and a raw hemline. And this Dusty Rose color does really well. So that was a definite for me. Then I got, these jeans smell a little mildew dewy. And let me give you a little tip. If you have anything that smells like mildew, stick it in a bag in the freezer and it will take that mildew smell out. I've had some stuff that was really mildewy and left it in there for 24 hours and the smell went away. But these are some White House Black Market, the slim jeans. I do really well with these slim jeans and this one has distressing. I love this distressing because the threading and um, the threading of the distressing is actually black. So it's really cool. Then here is a second pair of the slim. These actually have sort of like a raw stacked hem with this rhinestone studded detail. I'm actually selling these in my Poshmark closet already. I've sold them before. I don't pick up all White House Black Market jeans, but the slim does really well. And usually I can sell them for about $45, $50. I guess we're a little bit on a Paris theme because I did find this adorable top that is also a Paris print, passport, the Eiffel Tower, some baguettes. It says Bon Voyage, wee oui, wee, oui. and it is by J. Crew. But really cute little button up top. I grabbed these Mark Fishers. They were in excellent condition, just need to clean the little dirt off. And they're in a size 11 in this faux snakeskin like new, probably only worn maybe once or twice. So I grabbed Mark Fisher. Mark Fisher usually sells really well for me. I grabbed this for my super geek partner, Oliver. He, his nickname and trail name on the Appalachian Trail was Werewolf. So it's got this little werewolf. It looks like it would be a bell, but it actually is a cup. So the nose and ears of the wolf stand it up like this, or you can put it up as a decorative memento on your table. So he'll be getting this for Christmas. Alexis found these fun leather pants. They are extremely high-waisted. They have this sort of like patch detail. They are super soft leather. 
They are by Hugo Biscotti and they are 100% leather and they are in excellent condition. I should be able to probably get around 50 for those. Last item I found was this beautiful bag. I could tell that the leather was quality. It's really soft. It had this beautiful hardware with the brand name on it. And so I said, you know what, I'm going to look this up. And the brand is Francesco Biasia, made in Italy. And then, of course, it has the logo in the interior, which can be a sign that it is high quality. I looked it up, and these, this is a good designer brand. It is selling for around $100, $125 on the real real. So I'm either going to try to sell it myself or I'm going to send it in because I'm going to do an experiment sending items into the real real since ThreadUp no longer does ThreadUp Lux. So we will see because I have some other great items to send into them if they accept it and what I can make on it. So that's all y'all. That was my bins trip with my friends. We probably won't be able to go until after the holidays again. So this will tide me over for a while and I already have tons of stuff I need to list that I eventually will get to. And then also my mini haul from the little stop into Goodwill, a regular Goodwill store before we left to head back to the Mississippi Gulf Coast. If you're new here, I'm so glad that you clicked and watched through this video. I hope that you'll consider subscribing. We have tons of fun content on our channel. Also, don't forget to give me a thumbs up on the way out and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.